Hi, I'm Tony Northup, and for chapter 8 of my book, Stunning Digital Photography, I'd like to talk about photographing insects on flowers. You'll find a lot of different insects, including uh, bees, flies, wasps, butterflies, moths. They all pull pollen from flowers, and it's a beautiful situation because the flowers create a gorgeous backdrop for you, but it's not as easy as you might think. There are several tricks, though, that can make it much easier. First, your standard kit lens probably isn't going to allow you to focus close enough to get good pictures. Some do have a macro mode, so check it out. It might work for you. If you find that you can't get very close, check out chapter 12 of my book, the macro chapter, and you'll find some tricks in there that allow you to get even closer, including adding very inexpensive extension tubes. What I'm using is a 150 millimeter Sigma macro lens. This is the older version that doesn't have optical image stabilization. Optical image stabilization does help, but you don't necessarily need it because you have to keep your shutter speed up about above 180th anyway to freeze motion, so it doesn't matter all that much. Now for camera settings, I always set my camera to manual mode, auto ISO, which provides for auto exposure even though I'm in manual mode, shutter speed of 180th or 1/250th, and then an f-stop number of about f11. If you find that your camera doesn't support auto ISO in manual mode, then switch it to shutter priority mode and set the shutter to 180th or so. You'll need to manually adjust the ISO to keep it up, keep your apertures viable and allowing it to auto expose properly. So you might need to set the ISO to 400 or 800. Now, here's the trick. Rather than trying to autofocus your camera, I'm gonna switch it into manual mode and then dial this all the way to the left. Now. Instead of trying to manually focus this or using autofocus, I'm going to focus with my body. So I'm going to look through here and move my body in and out until I get it nice and focused. I'm going to do my best to focus on the eyes. It also helps if you don't shoot from above, but actually get down on the side and get some nice angle on the insects. The single biggest challenge is going to be depth of field. No matter what your f-stop is, the depth of field is going to be so shallow that you can't even get an entire bug in focus. Make sure you focus on the eye and use the highest f-stop number you can. You could even get away with f22 or f32. To get that kind of aperture and to avoid going to a really high ISO number, you want as much light as possible. So rather than just going to where the bugs are, I will find some flowers that are in full direct sunlight and kind of camp out there. You'll notice that some flowers are in shadow and some are in sunlight. Pick a flower that's nice and brightly lit and that has nice petals on it and just hang out there and wait for the bugs. That's a lot easier than trying to chase them around. If you like this video, click subscribe up above and like down below. And I hope you'll check out my Facebook page. And of course, read my book, Stunning Digital Photography which has more than two hours of videos just like this. You can get it at Amazon, the print book, or you can get the ebook just about anywhere that sells ebooks, including Amazon, Nook, and uh, Google Play. Thanks.